Hi everyone, this is the last three problems of the practice placement into math 1431. 35 is actually pretty easy. Basically, they want you to, um, um, what transformations are needed to go from this basic equation to this uh, one here. So the only thing that's changing is your horizontal shift, your vertical shift. So it's pretty basic. It's a horizontal shift to the right. Remember, uh, it's the distance from zero. You set that to zero. So x is 10. That's positive 10. So that's to the right by 10 units. And this just means vertical shift up by 14 units. Okay. Next one, I forgot to write down the equation. It says find the min and max, the min or the max of this function. So we got to clarify. Um, when they're talking about this, uh, they're as asking for the y component, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but uh, we got to complete the square, so as usual, I move the 9 over, and then um, factor out the 5 on this side. This changes to a positive. Okay, since I'm um, adding something on this side, that's negative 5 times this, so I'm actually subtracting that. I'm going to put that on this side. So I have this part, and this part is the part we're changing. So you complete the square. <coughs> Half of 4 is 2 and square it, and you get 4. So on this side, you're going to get y uh, minus 29, because this equals 20, equals negative 5 times x. Take your plus, and half of 4 is 2 squared. All right, so basically the vertex is negative 2, comma, 29. And if you want, you can go ahead and move this over. It's negative, so it's going to be positive here. So that's your vertex. So basically what happens, and it also opens down. And I'm not going to, uh, so negative 2, 29, so it's way up here. It opens down. So basically this has a max. A max maximum value occurs at negative 2, at x equals negative 2, and the value is 29. So what they're looking for is 29, a max value at 29. Okay, that's how they say it. Um, so be careful not to uh, use the X on that. All right. Now, the last one is a word problem. And I've actually taught this in Algebra 1 before. So Thomas collects dimes and quarters in his change jar. <laughs> in my days, we collected uh, nickels and pennies. Okay, inflation. So basically, he has 10 more dimes than quarters. And here's the total amount. We gotta find the number of each type of coin. Now you can let just call it D and Q. I'll I'll just gonna let X equal the dimes. You don't have to. You can let D equal the dimes and Y equal the quarters. You can do it any way you want. We set up a system of equations. So he has ten more dimes than quarters. So as dimes is 10 more than the quarter. Oops, my quarters is y. And if you ever get confused with that, just think about it. If his quarters, let's say, were 10, then x should be, your dime should be 10 more. So if the quarters were 10, then the dime should be um, 20. And then the other part that you have to be careful with is when you're doing money, you, basically, it's like your your dimes and your quarters equal the money, the total 
total many, but we have to put the point one here because it's the dimes is uh, ten cents and the quarters is twenty five cents. I don't like this. Let me erase it. All right, so we get point one uh, x plus point two five y. Students tend to forget that with the money you have to do that. If it was dollars, and um, it would be a little easier, but we have decimals here. So this is my system, system of equations, this one and this one. And since this is already set up for substitution, I'm going to uh, let x be y plus 10. And we're going to solve for y, which is my quarters. So I get 0.1y plus um, 1, um, distribute, plus 0.25y equals 34.25. So that's going to give me um, 0.35y equals 33.25. And then you divide both sides, and you're going to get your quarters as 95. So if your quarters is 95, then you just substitute this back in. Then your dimes would be uh, 105, because you just add 10 more dimes than quarters. All right? And that's your answer. And that's all. And I wish you all a good luck on your placement test. Um... And I hope you all have a very nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye.